Well, I'm glad that the little Juan Juan is back home where he belongs after kind of a scary ordeal yesterday. Bad, bad dog, oh, dog. Can you imagine, oh, though, like being on vacation and maybe this story maybe somehow like, hey, did goes. Did you see your dog on national? the news? <laughs> is that, is that, that is Juan Juan? That's Juan Juan. <laughs> Running down 520. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, boy. happy that uh, things were okay. Though. Yep. Uh, so, uh, you were talking about the Mariners. Yep. Uh, looks like great weather if you're going to be heading to any Mariners game over the next couple of days. The rooftop is going to be open. Very summer-like weather. Here's a live shot from our rooftop camera. Temperature right now, 73 degrees with a west-northwest wind just under 10 miles per hour. And if you are heading to the game this evening, here is a look at your forecast. Temperatures will be dipping into the upper 60s, a mostly sunny sky, a northwest wind about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And again, the roof will be open for the duration of the game. The only showers we've been seeing across the state are in the far northeast corner up over the northeast mountains. The showers stay away from us, but we will be watching a weather system that will be approaching us by the end of the week. We're going to be sitting in between these two low pressure systems over the next few days, and that's what's going to give us very pleasant weather. This low right here is going to park itself offshore. A piece of the system is going to brush by us tomorrow. That's going to give us more filtered sunshine than anything else. Take a look at this forecast model. I'll show, what you, I'll show you what I'm talking about. As we head into tomorrow morning, it's a clear start, but watch as the high High clouds kind of filter in through the afternoon. So we're looking at hazy sunshine for your 4th of July forecast. That will probably lead to more of a, uh, we'll call it a partly sunny evening or partly cl partly cloudy evening, we'll say. Uh, your 4th of July forecast, though, should be very warm. Upper 70s and some of us could be even into the mid 80s for high temperatures. Keep in mind, there will be a breezy north wind about 10 to 20 miles per hour. And for coastal beaches, this also means warm temperatures because the wind is going to be more offshore. 70s for coastal beaches and again, and the sunset is just after nine o'clock. So if you're heading maybe to Lake Union, look at all the boats that are out there right now. There's the barge right there that the fireworks will be jumping off of as we head into uh, the evening hours tomorrow night. So looking forward to that. Let's take a look at your seven day forecast. It does get even warmer than what we're seeing today. 83 degrees for our high on Wednesday. Uh, still in the lower 80s on Thursday, probably seeing more sunshine, more cloud cover as we head into Friday and Saturday and temperatures will be cooling a few degrees back in the low to mid 70s. Maybe a stray shower later Friday and once again on Saturday, but those showers are going to be rather hit and miss. Drier on Sunday, partly sunny sky, temperatures back in the mid to upper 70s, and we'll stay in the upper 70s all the way through the first part of next week. So, guys, summer is back, and we could not ask for better timing.